Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't expecting that, were you? Hi, it's been year. It's been a while since I have vlogged. It's because I have newly entered university and everything is, is crazy and new and all that sorts of stuff. All that stuff. All that good stuff. Not really. <laughs> I decided to take on nursing so that I could help sick people. But at the moment, I'm a little sick, which is kind of ironic because I'm going to tell you a little story. So the first week I was here, I had about 21 units. Yeah, exactly 21. And I tried to push it around. Um, I tried to push it on myself to get everything done really quickly and not eat and sleep properly. So this is the result. Well, the aftermath. And yeah, um, I didn't do too good. So I ended up dropping two of my classes so that I could have time to write notes for the other one. And now I have time, more time to eat and I'm less stressed. It'll take longer for me to finish, but at least I won't have gray hair or explode to be specific. Oh, you're wondering, yeah, why I'm wearing lipstick. Yeah, it's cause I just came from school. And they wanted us to be less like ghosts or something. That's what they told, said, said, told. <laughs> you won't believe what happened the other day. The AC exploded right near me. Like, I was here, and there was my other friend, and then there were the two other chairs there, and then there's the AC there, and it started going. Pow! And then I saw a light, I was like, oh, that's a fire. So I ran as fast as I could outside, and now all the other girls were screaming. So I told them to calm down, because I hate the sound of girls screaming. It's just so annoying. I hate that. It hurts my ears. It's all ringy. And no! No. <laughs> but anyways, um, newly entering university can be tough, but I've overcome a lot of my shyness I guess you could say while entering here and I've gained a lot more confidence and I know more of what to prioritize now because I used to be the loner who sat in the corner of the classroom but now I have lots of friends who help me study and tell me to study when I don't study <laughs> but yeah I only had time for this short video because um I'll be busy for a while, but I'll try to vlog during Christmas when it's the holidays. And yeah, I filmed this thing. <laughs> <laughs> My sister, because we don't have trick or treating here in the Philippines. So, poo. So, yeah, anyways, that's the basic summary of right now. And I have to spend this weekend making more notes and such. So, um, if you're a new university student, there we go. Number one is that you should never overwork yourself and you should know your limitations because eventually it will, they'll come back to you and it will hurt you in future weeks. So just, just Make sure to eat and get rest. So yes, never pass your limitations. Number two is that you should always be prepared ahead because the teachers will sometimes come earlier to the classroom. So be there on t before the time, at least 15 minutes. And just be prepared with all the requirements ahead of time, such as you know, project materials and all the books and homework and notes. Just be prepared. That's that's very important as well. And number three is that you should always try to talk to people because college can be confusing, especially if you're new. You may be surprised to how helpful some people are. I was generally lost. I've never been to college before, so everything was all crazy. But I feel like I've sort of gotten to the point where I guess I'm okay, but there's still a lot of things that I do not know about. I look forward to learning them. Number four is that you should try to be as arranged as possible, otherwise you will lose things and things will be 
all over the place. I'm not, I'm not even joking. Like, you might lose your homework, or you might lose some note paper, or some old notes. Just, just try to keep it as, as arranged as you can, because that's very important. Because things getting lost will not help you. And the fifth and final, try to make time, even if it's just as you got home, like a few minutes, just to relax a little, you know, ease the tension from from classes and such and yeah so just make sure you have at least like a 5 or 15 minute break when you get home because college can be stressful and um, just doing little activities here and there like playing the ukulele or talking to you guys is something that really helps get rid of all the tension in your back especially from carrying all the books so yeah I feel like this is something that's amazing. I'll see you guys very soon. I'll try to get through university and not die. Yeah. And take care. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Bye.